Hi everybody, everybody I'm back. Everybody Dina Young is back and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. Today I'm gonna to show you all how to make salmon. Salmon is on the menu at the Young's house for lunchtime and I'm so excited. This recipe is so easy, does not require a lot of ingredients and listen here, it tastes so good. Here's what you're gonna need to make Gina Young style salmon. You all never had Gina Young style salmon, you better make yourself. Okay everyone, here are the ingredients. You will need nice fresh salmon. Okay, and that's what we have there. You're gonna need zucchini and squash, as well as a lemon. We have Old Bay seasoning, onion powder, parsley flakes, cracked black pepper and sea salt. We're gonna use two tablespoons of French salted butter, as well as olive oil. And on the side of this dish, we're also gonna make some long grain wild rice. All right, let's get down to business. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean and let's get started. When is the last time you all had a nice piece of salmon? A nice piece of juicy, flavorful salmon. This salmon has so much flavor. And like I said earlier, it doesn't require a lot of ingredients. It doesn't take much to make a nice piece of salmon taste absolutely amazing. And I'm gonna show you in this recipe. So the first thing that we wanna do is I'm going to drizzle on some beautiful olive oil on the top of my salmon, but I do wanna show you something. I put scores, can you see that? I put four slits in the bottom of my salmon. I feel like when I put the slits in the bottom, it helps for your salmon to lay flat at all times. It's not gonna shrink up and bubble up on you, okay? It's gonna lay nice and flat when you put those slits in. Now you can use just a, the tip of a very sharp knife to get those slits in. Now we're gonna want to put some olive oil on. You don't need a lot, a little bit goes a long way, okay? just like so, and I'm gonna rub that in, in this manner. Now this olive oil is gonna to help to keep this nice and moist, and it's also gonna to help to adhere your beautiful spices that you're gonna put on. Take the time to rub that in and treat this like a ba as if it was a baby skin, okay? Because this fish is very delicate, okay? So now that we have that rubbed in, I'm gonna wash my hands. I'm gonna come right back and we're gonna put our seasonings on just like so. Okay, now that my hands are washed, I can grab my spices. I'm going to put sea salt on. You can put any kind of salt that you would like to use. All right, just like so. You always wanna be careful with your salt. Don't put too much on. We're gonna put a nice amount of cracked black pepper in there. That pepper is going to give you an amazing flavor as well as the salt. Don't be afraid to season, and I say it in every video that I, that I make. Don't be afraid to season. If you're that person that's afraid to season, your food will have no flavor. Okay? So there's our cracked black pepper going on. And then we're going to put some parsley flakes. Parsley flakes are going on just like so, put a nice amount, it's gonna give you a beautiful color. This, this dried parsley is not gonna give you flavor, it's just gonna make it nice and beautiful, and I like to eat with my eyes first. That means I like for everything to be nice and beautiful before I eat it. And then we're gonna put onion powder on. If you wanted to put some garlic powder on, absolutely you can, okay? Just like this, get you a nice amount on there. All right, and then we're gonna use Old Bay seasoning. This Old Bay seasoning is amazing when it comes to seafood. Give it a try if you've never tried it. It's gonna make the salmon nice and flavorful. Trust me when I tell you this. Beautiful. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to take some of our dill. When you're using dill, you don't need too, too much. A little bit of dill goes a long way. All right, I'm gonna sprinkle 
a little bit of your dill all throughout. It's very pungent, but it's so tasty, you know, all right? And it pairs up perfect with seafood, salmon. It's going to give you an amazing taste here. You don't need too much. That right there is going to do the trick, okay? Now we have a baking dish here. I have somewhat of a shallow baking dish. You don't want to put it in a baking dish that's a little too deep because your salmon will take longer to cook than it needs. So now we're going to take our salmon. We're going to gently put the salmon in just like so. All right. And then I'm going to wash my cutting board off. We're going to come back and I'm going to show you what we're going to do with these veggies as well. Okay, so let's get started on our veggies. I want to cut some of the lemon. And we're going to use two slices of lemon for garnish to make it nice and beautiful. And the rest of the lemon will be used to squeeze on top of your beautiful salmon. This right here is all I'm going to need for garnish. Okay, and we'll save the rest just like so. Okay, so we have the squash, and I'm just going to chop off the ends just like so. I'm going to slice down the middle in this manner. You can chop this up into little squares if you like. You can put it in this way. You can make matchsticks, however you want to do. I'm going to do mine in this manner. Really easy. Nothing's hard about any recipe that I ever make. Everything that I make in this kitchen is so simple and so easy and a lot of fun. And you all can do this as well. Okay, so that's how we're going to do that. We're going to do our zucchini same way. Someone asked me a couple weeks ago, Gina, can you show us how to make squash? I do have a video for squash. But I figured I can incorporate squash and zucchini in this dish and show you how to bake it. It's really easy and when you're making squash and zucchini, it does not require hardly anything. You know, you just want to make sure you season it really well and voila! You know, you can bake it, you can stir fry it, saute it, it's going to be good no matter what. Trust me when I tell you this. I, I'm going to use a nice amount of squash and zucchini in this dish because my family, we love it. We love the taste of it. It's so fresh and it's so buttery. And all you really need is salt and pepper. I am going to put some parsley to make it look nice and beautiful. But if you want to, you can put any seasonings you want to put on your squash and zucchini. Garlic powder, onion powder, by all means, absolutely you can. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to cut this. I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, so now that I have our zucchini and squash cut up just like so, we're going to want to drizzle a little bit of olive oil on your veggies as well. Now you can start off with a little tiny bit and then we can rub everything together to get that oil on each one. Okay? I don't suggest using vegetable oil. Invest in some nice olive oil, okay? I highly suggest that. All right, we're going to rub that oil all over these beautiful veggies. Okay, I have the veggies inside of the bowl so that I can move them around a little bit better, other than I'm falling off of the cutting board. All right, get that olive oil well mixed in, just like so. All right. And then we're going to go in with sea salt. You can use regular salt if you like. Not too much, but just enough so it tastes good. Parsley flakes make it nice and beautiful. Look at this. If you wanted to put onions in here and cauliflower, absolutely you can. You know, you can put a few carrots in here to brighten the colors up. Okay, so we have the salt, the parsley, cracked black pepper, put a nice amount in there, and we have the olive oil. And voila, really quick and simple, right? 
you know, it doesn't have to be, every meal doesn't have to be hard to make. There's so many meals that is so easy. You just kind of chop it, throw it in that bacon dish and get it baking. And this is one of those dishes and it tastes delicious, right? Just gonna mix it together. Just like this, get all those spices well incorporated. And next, we're gonna put this right on the side of our salmon, okay? So then, we have room on this side. Absolutely we do. We have room on this side. This is gonna be our veggie to go right alongside of our salmon. It doesn't get any easier. It doesn't get any more better than this. It's so simple. And the flavor that the salmon will give these veggies is out of this world. You know, you don't have to cover this with foil. There's no mixing and turning. Just let it bake. Keep a good eye on it. Squash and zucchini do not take long to cook. Not long at all. Okay, by the time your salmon is done, these veggies are gonna be perfectly done. Trust me when I tell you this. All right, and there you go. You have a meal fit for your family, fit for lunchtime, dinner time. Absolutely, make this for your loved ones. I'm gonna wash my hands, we're gonna come back, and then I'll show you what we're gonna do next. Okay, so now what we're gonna do we're gonna take that two tablespoons of butter and we're gonna separate it. Put some here onto the salmon and then we're gonna put some onto those veggies. Even though we have olive oil on everything, the butter is gonna give you an amazing taste once it melts and gets all down in the crevices of everything, okay? So just like that. And then we're going to squeeze some lemon over top of, and I'm using my hand to catch the seeds. Squeeze that lemon and put it all down over top of your beautiful salmon. Let the juice come through and you catch the seeds with your hand. And then you can squeeze some of the juice onto your veggies as well. Beautiful, just like so. And this smells so good. Hoo-wee! If you lose any seeds, just pick them up. You know, it's that simple. All right? I want a little bit more lemon juice. This is going in the oven on the middle rack, 350 degrees, and we're going to keep a good eye on it. You don't want to put this on the top rack. You don't want to put it on the bottom rack, and you don't need to cover it. Okay? Once this is done, we'll come back. I'll show you what it looks like. We're gonna give it a taste and say a prayer over our beautiful meal. Go on in the oven, 350 degrees. Okay, everybody, now let's start on our wild rice. We're gonna take a tablespoon. That's a little bit more than a tablespoon of butter, okay? And then we're gonna use a little bit of olive oil. You can use one or the other, or you can use both like I'm gonna do. I feel like the olive oil gives amazing flavor. So, just about that much will do you, okay? Now we're gonna put the content packets that comes inside of your box. We're gonna put that right in the pan just like so. Amazing flavor comes in that little packet, okay? You don't need to put any extra seasoning. That packet flavoring right there is just enough. It comes out perfect every time. And then we're gonna put our wild rice in in this manner. Now this box calls for water, but I'm gonna use chicken broth. Why not? If you have some chicken broth sitting around, use chicken broth. And I'm gonna use one and one fourths cup of the chicken broth. You wanna use veggie broth? That's fine as well. And we're gonna bring this up to a boil. Let's see, I poured a little too much in. Pour a little bit out. Perfect. Now we're going to put all this in. We're going to give it a nice stir. Just like so. And we're going to bring this up to a boil. And once this comes up to a boil, we're going to reduce the heat down to medium low. And then we're going to let it simmer covered 
for 10 minutes and then your rice is done. It's going to be nice and fluffy, flavorful, and you have wild rice. Okay, so once this comes up to a boil, I'll be back. We have our amazing salmon in the oven and it's cooking up just beautifully and my house smells so good. And it doesn't smell fishy. It does not smell fishy at all. So you don't have to worry about that. Okay, everybody, my rice has came up to a boil. We're gonna turn it down to low. And then we're gonna put a lid on. If you don't have a lid, just do like I'm doing. <laughs> I don't feel like hunting for my lid. Just put you some foil right on top and make sure you put it on nice and tight. Okay, we've turned it down. We're going to let this simmer for 10 minutes. We're going to have nice, fluffy, beautiful wild rice. Okay, everybody, our rice is done. It looks amazing. It's not smushy. This is going to go perfect right alongside of our amazing salmon and veggies. Look at that. So quick and simple. It's so tasty. Mm, I'm not going to taste this right now. Can't wait. Look at that. Okay, everybody, let's take just a sneak peek into the oven. Our salmon and veggies are almost done. It's been 20 minutes. I think I'm gonna take these out here in about five minutes or so. 35 to 40 minutes. In the oven, middle rack, 350 degrees. Perfectly done. Now, it all depends on how much veggies you're gonna cook and how much salmon you're gonna cook. That's what's gonna depend on how long you cook yours. Let's say a beautiful prayer over the salmon. We're gonna dive in, we're gonna give this a taste and I'm gonna let you all know what this tastes like. Look at this, it screams fall. We have wild rice, we have some dinner rolls on the side. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we thank you for today. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. We pray that no weapons formed against the young family shall prosper. We bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. Devil, you have no authority over the young family. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, love, the joy that you bring us daily. We thank you. We thank you once again for this meal, Heavenly Father. Lord, I thank you for my viewers and my subscribers. I pray that no weapons formed against them shall prosper. I pray, Lord, that you bless over their lives in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we say amen. Amen. Let's make a plate. Let's dive right in. I'm so excited. What I love, look at this. Look what the, bud, look what the natural juice from the salmon, the natural juice from the veggies kind of mix in with that butter and give you an amazing sauce oh yeah gives you an amazing sauce in the bottom all right like a butter sauce beautiful flavored with salmon and all of those amazing spices that we use and you can see i just used the um the lemon and i put parsley on the lemon to garnish I don't know about you all, but I want a nice amount of these veggies. These veggies are always amazing when you roast them this way. I want a nice amount. <laughs> I hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. Tell your family and friends, all of your loved ones, everybody you know, all about Gina Young and what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Absolutely. You want to take a little bit of that juice and put it right on top of your veggies, just like so. Beautiful. And now we're going to take, and I want to cut, I'm going to take off some of this lemon. We'll put the lemon there on our plate, just as a nice garnish. I want to get salmon mm. and the skin. Don't worry about the skin. If you're that person that says, no, uh -uh, I want the skin off, then take it off. Or you can just take it off, you know, as you eat it. You don't have to eat the skin. Look at this. Oh, you better believe this is beautiful. You hear me? Look how beautiful. Oh my word, look at those seasonings on top. And I'm gonna lay it right on top. 
it right on top of this bed of rice and you have a salmon dinner 101 Jeannie Young style. You all never had this before? You have to make you some. You have to try it one time. Mm. And then come back. Let me know what you thought about it. What your family thought. Look at this beautiful. Oh, mm, mm, mm. I'm ready to dive in right now. Amen. If we didn't already say amen. Look at this right here. And of course, I'm gonna give you all the first bite. Yes, I am. I'm heading right here to that salmon. And I want you all to see just how beautiful it is. Nice and steamy. You can see all that seasoning on the top and moist in the inside. Look how moist the inside is. I wish I could, let's see, I'm trying to show you a good picture. Get a little bit of rice underneath it. Look at this. Taste that right there. Let me know what you think. Hoo-wee, better dig in right now. Look at that. Make you wanna smack somebody, right? Look at this. I'm going in, guys. Oh, mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, so good. Mmm, and this right here, get you some squash and zucchini, a little bit of rice underneath. Oh, mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. A little bit more of that salmon. Mmm, ooh, it's beautiful. Scoop it up with a little bit of that rice, and you are in heaven. Look at that. Oh, mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. This right here. This right here is a five-star meal. It's delicious. Daggone it, I can sell this meal for $18.99. You better believe I can. Mmm, look at that. Mmm. Another piece of that salmon. Look at that. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night. And make sure, guys, make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time Jenny Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. And as always, once again, good night. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Doggone, that's good.